Good day, everybody, and my name is Sanette, and I'm here from TVH Cooking. And today I'm going to show you how to make Chinese egg noodles. For the ingredients, we are going to need three cups of flour, and that is all purpose flour. We are going to need four whole eggs and two egg yolks, and that is for a richer, chewier consistency, a teaspoon of salt, and then the water will be determined as we go along. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the eggs to my mixer and I'm just going to put it all in. And I'm going to add the salt to that and I'm going to start mixing that. So once that is all mixed, I'm going to add all the flour at once. You don't need to add one bit at a time. All of it at once is fine. And we're going to just incorporate this. I'm going to switch it on and I'm going to turn it. What I'm going to do now is get a spatula and just bring down the sides. I've got my spatula. I am just scraping down the sides to make sure that all the flour is incorporating into the egg mixture at the bottom. And off we go. I see my, my, my consistency is a little bit dry. I'm going to add two tablespoons of water and then I'm going to continue mixing. And as you will see, this is really a stiff mixture and it has to be stiff in order for us to be able to roll out the dough and to cut the pasta. So for now I'm going to take the mixture and I'm going to put it into a Ziploc bag. So scrape it all loose and put it all in the Ziploc bag. And yes, it does look crumbly. Don't stress, don't worry. It has to be like this. So, there you go. Now, for those of you who don't have a mixer, you can certainly do this by hand. You can just pour all of this into a dish and you can start mixing it together with your hand. So once that is done, I'm going to close the bag and I'm going to bring the dough together. As you will see, it comes together nicely. And it doesn't make a mess. <laughs> That's what I like about it. So what you're gonna do is just fold it up and put it in the fridge for 30, for 30 minutes. After that, I'll be back. Welcome back. And now that the dough has rested for 30 minutes, I'm going to take it and roll it out with the pasta machine. So what I'm going to do at first is I'm going to cut a piece open. As you can see, you can see all the layers from earlier on that has been done. I will close this so it doesn't dry out. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to flatten this piece of dough so that it, it can fit inside. So 
product out and if you need you can just add a little bit of flour on each side just to make sure that it doesn't stick and turn it around and you can roll it out now if you do not have one of these pasta rollers you can certainly just continue rolling it out by hand but I have it and what I'm going to do is on the bigger setting I'm going to add it to the first roll so I'm going to switch it on and sorry for the noise <laughs> And always with the first with the first um, roll out, you always fold it in half and you do it again. So let's go again. I'm going to add a little bit more flour so that it doesn't stick to the machine and I'm going to turn my machine one more notch. So I'm going to go to the second notch and once again I'm going to put it in. What you're going to do now is you're going to take it to the third notch and you're going to continue thinning it out as you go along. So this is now the third one and once again I'm putting it in. I'm going to stop it there and what I'm going to do is join the two over here. It just makes your life easier later on. I'm now going to go to number four and continue all the way around. the same thing and then oops there you go get it to number five and stop number six and I do not like rolling it out more than six but we'll see how thick it is. roll the remaining dough out as same as what we did with this. 
So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to put a tiny bit of flour on the pasta sheet and I'm going to put it in my pasta cutter. So today I'm going to make some yakisoba. So what I'm going to do is, is actually let it be very thin because yakisoba is the noodles and I'm going to switch it on and hopefully it will take it. <laughs> of parchment and I'm going to just dab it in there and put it in a circle like that and roll out the remaining dough. So if you do not have one of these you can certainly buy the hand cranked ones. They are available on any kitchen store as well as Amazon and they go for around about 20 to 30 dollars. They're not expensive and it's well worth it guys. So I'm also going to cut out this one and I'm going to show you that the same thing will be done, putting a little bit of flour on here, and I'm going to add it once again to the cutter. And off we go. As you can see, it comes out on this side, and it's very, very thin. And it won't require a lot of cooking. Wonderful. Perfect. So once again, we're going to add a little bit extra flour on there. And make the little bu a bundle. And sprinkle it with excess flour. And for those of you who do not have a pasta machine or a pasta roller, I'm going to show you that you can do this by hand. So after you have rolled it, the length and thickness that you want it, you're going to take it, put a little bit of flour once again in the center, you're going to fold it in half, then you're going to put another one there, and a little bit more flour, fold it in half, and you're going to fold it in half one more time. And then what you're going to do, is you're just going to take a knife and you're going to slice it very, very thin. To make the noodles. As you can see, there they are, all done. So don't despair if you do not have a machine, you can certainly do this by hand. As you can see, the recipe makes quite a lot of noodle and I'm going to use this recipe in my next video which will be focusing on the Japanese cooking of yakisoba noodle. Thanks for watching everybody, like and subscribe below and happy cooking!